Yeah. Right, so we've got, uh, we got some sweets. So we're going to make pumpkin and lemonade scones. <laughs> and some, some pumpkin and different. lemonade scones? Scones, yes, because lots of British people on the show today. So oh, it's true, a homage right. to uh, England. That's scones very good. It. I've got a joke for you as well. Yes. What's the, what's the fastest... <laughs> I haven't told it yet. You don't need to laugh yet. <laughs> what's the fastest cake in the world? I don't know. Scone. Oh, I love it. You love it, yeah. I quite like that, thanks. Can I use it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, I can't wait to get stuck into making this very soon. We're going to show you how to do Great it. Great to have you with us in the all-new Beko Kitchen, where we've got a new stove top oven and a very stylish French door fridge freezer to play with, Mark. I quite like them. I don't have enough room in my home to fit that, otherwise it would be there right now. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got everything we need to create the most beautiful scones, and we're combining two ingredients I'd never thought we could combine. Yeah, I know. I thought we'd make it a little bit different today. So we're going to do a pumpkin scone. So we've got this beautiful pumpkin. Pumpkin. So a pumpkin scone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's a British recipe. Fair enough. And um, lemonade as well. Okay, nice. Does it have yeah. to be fizzy lemonade or can it yes. be any lemonade? Well, well that's the key. Oh, okay. so, so the fizziness makes nice. the scone light and nice and light. Ah, you there know? you go. There's a little top tip for you there. Okay, well, let's get cracking. What do we need to do? Right, so first of all, you need a, a little bit of preparation in this. We need to get the pumpkin. We need to cook it so we can make it into a puree okay so just chop your pumpkin up leave the skin on it yeah and the easiest way cut it into wedges like this and then just go down go through your skin nice big chunks okay just pop it on there take all the seeds out okay so a sharp knife helps oh yeah, uh, yeah, I've, yeah. I've injured myself cutting pumpkin before it, it sounds strange but um if you don't have a sharp knife, it's probably even more dangerous, you know, because yeah. it won't go in and it will slip and it, you know, it yeah, nice, bruise you. Yeah, and no, good tips. Yeah, like that. So definitely, I mean, that's the key thing in the kitchen anyway, sharp, sharp knife. knife. <laughs> yeah. I know, so heaps of people have those things that you can sharpen knives on. Yeah, a knife they, sharpener. Yeah, a knife sharpener. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, a steel. Yeah, so you, so you steel, can use that or you, you can yes. use a stone. But no, but no yeah. one ever uses them. They just sit in the drawer collecting well, rust. That's really. why no blonde. one ever uses those things. <laughs> oh, look, I've got a knife steel. Oh, I've never used it. Anyway, um, but Yes. Right, so pumpkin. Nice, nice big uh, chunks like that. We're just going to pop it in the oven straight away, just like that. You know, we're not going to put any salt and pepper or any olive oil in it. We just want that pumpkin flavour, and we want to keep it nice and dry. About 180 degrees. Well, so you don't even need any oil on the bottom. No, 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 no. no okay. It's just going to bake like that. So 180 degrees. 180. Yeah, probably okay. like 40 minutes to an hour, just so it's nice and soft and it's all steamed. Right, and then this is what we are left with. So you can sort of, you can see this now. You know, you've got a, got a nice bit of colour. Let it cool down a bit before you handle it, because it's quite hot, so you can sort of see the, see the steam Jeez. coming off there. That Beko oven is super fast. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And then just, you know, just peel it off. Oh, Oops, easy. Look go. at that. It's, like, it's really easy. Nice. All right. And then uh, all we want to do now is just squash it together. So you want to make sure it's really cooked and steamed through. And then you just make it into a paste. Okay, easy. Easy yeah. as that. So really you've added no butter or really anything no, no, so far? No, no, no. No salt, no pepper, no, no butter? No, no, no. We are making a scone, not a puree. Okay. <laughs> nice. Do you want right. me to do anything? I feel kind of useless today. Well, you can, uh, then, so we've got the flour. Right? You yes. can stir everything together. Oh, right. cool. And we're going we're gonna to stir it together with a knife. Okay, well, right. what, what's the purpose of that? Does well, it just so help? That's, that's, it's another way. You've got to keep it nice and fluffy. Okay. Because if you start going in there with a whisk or a spoon or, or squashing everything together, we just wait until everything's in place. Okay. <laughs> Don't need to do it now. Okay, cool. Um, you know, you're just going to compact everything. Okay, okay. Nice. So I'm going to measure out a cup of puree. So yes. always, um, always uh, do a little bit of extra pumpkin when you cook it, yeah. because then it is going to shrink a little bit right. um, and go down, and then so you've got enough to make a cup. So right. I'm going to pop that in there, so you can start mixing that through. Okay, this is like advanced baby food, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> pretty much. Well, when I think of mashed pumpkin, I think baby food. That's it. So start getting all that in, okay, and then nice. we've got some sour cream in here as well. Oh yum, okay. So I'm going to pop that in as well, and then just keep mixing it all together. Okay, cool. Nice. And a British guest, Charmian, she's never had pumpkin and lemonade scones before. Oh, so it's going to be a game changer. Is it? Say, yeah, right. yeah. Well, the pressure's on now. <laughs> <laughs> so the afternoon in, uh, tea in England. She's mixed with royalty and stuff, so the pressure's on, Mark. I'm sure the What's that, lemonade? Yeah. So this is the lemonade, so that yep, goes cool. in there as well. So just a little bit. So very important, obviously, measure everything out because it is baking, it is very scientific. Okay, uh, good. Don't just wing it. Okay, good. Right, so you're just going to bring all that together. And once it all comes together, Mm -hmm. We're going to uh, just clear down here and we're just going to tip it out onto uh, a floured surface. And we're not even going to roll it. We're just going to sort of pat it down to yeah. get it to the right thickness. We're going to cut it into nice little squares, pop it on a baking sheet. Okay, cool. 
Well, I'll and keep mixing. Just bake it. Yeah, I'll keep mixing this, and uh, we'll come back and see how to do the second part of this very soon. Now it is time to finish off these lemonade pumpkin scones. So I've finished mixing it for you. Is that good consistency? Yeah, that's happy, beautiful. Chef? So you've got it there. Nice. All right, and then just pop it out on a, a floured surface. Yeah. And then all we're going to do is just press it down. Okay, cool. No, you don't want to work it too much, otherwise it's just going to get really um, tight and hard and you know, it's just be like a brick. And then all we do, you know, you can do round ones, that's quite traditional. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we're going to do square ones today. Okay, nice. Yeah, because pumpkin and lemonade is not traditional. So no, fair enough. Keep it, out, keep it out of the box. Right, so nice little squares. Yes. You know, easy as that. And then that's going to go in the oven, so same temperature, 180. Yep. Um, for about sort of 12 to 15 minutes. So you've got to watch how far close you put these to each other because uh, they will spread out slightly? Uh, yeah, slightly. That was, okay. that, that was good, actually. Good, good work, Mike. Yeah, no, just <laughs> keeping an eye on your chef. Yeah, Don't yeah. Don't worry. That's why you're here. That's right. Speaking of top quality, how's your uh, how's your book going? Have you got any copies left? Oh, it's great. Yeah, no, I've got, I've got a few copies left. Yeah, nice. yeah, it's going really well. Great feedback. Good, good. I've got to admit, I um, haven't made anything out of that book yet. Unbelievable. That's because I haven't bought one yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're waiting, you're waiting for that's why I'm checking to see if there are any left. <laughs> um, okay, do you want me to do anything while we're waiting for these scones? Um, so right, we've some got cream. some cream as well. So we're gonna um, so we've got our scones. And you notice there's no sugar in there as well. You know, you, you're oh, getting true. the sweetness, you're getting that natural sweetness from the pumpkin as it Beautiful. steams. You know, so you get a little bit of sweetness in there. And uh, if you want it a little bit sweeter, we're gonna add it to the topping. So we've got some beautiful jams mm. here, you know, apricot jam, raspberry jam. And you can't have a scone without some cream. That's right. Clotted cream is obviously the best. But um, if you can't get hold of clotted, clotted cream, just pop some cream into a bowl yeah. and just give it a really good whisk and just have it it's nice and nice and uh, not too thick, Mike. Remember last time? Can you? Um, no, I was going to say, can you remember last time I, I tried to whip some cream? It just turned into No, it's good. We'll do, we'll do it together. Okay, Yeah, cool. so nice figure of eight. Figure of eight. Yeah, that's it. A bit faster. <laughs> okay, back yeah, that's it. Yeah. So keep going. Can you see the air start going into it as well? Okay. So there's, I do think last time when we did it, you know, the cream had been out under the studio lights, it warmed right. up a little bit, right? So it's so never my fault is what you're saying. Well, you did have a whip. There's it. a combination of errors. <laughs> well, so it's the so year 2018, thing. what are we doing with a hand whisk is what I'm questioning. Well, I, you probably split it with a hand whisk because it would go too fast. You've got okay. more control. All right, well, you finish that off because I don't <laughs> want to turn it into butter. <laughs> nice work, and we will see how these turn out very soon. Well done, um, Mark. Look at that. Oh, pretty good. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to eat. Okay, Mel, what's on the show tomorrow? Well, let me tell you, Mark.